really popular gym is called Friendly ID for rails, and it more or less is a what they call a Swiss Army bulldozer of slugging and permalink plugins for Active Record, and it just it creates a slug based off of some sort of record that you've already established in your model. Uh, so, for instance, my discussion title uh, design thinking could be the slug, uh, just based on what we pass through a parameter. And it's pretty simple to set up. You can follow the guide on here, or you can just follow along with me just to set it up the same way. Um, the only issue that you could, you could run into is just making sure all of your models and controllers are set up to use this friendly ID thing. So let's go ahead and just get started. There's a handy generator that is bundled with the gem, which we should already have installed if you're following along. So I'll do a Rails generate friendly ID. And it should do its trick to create this crazy looking um, migration. Uh, we can go check that out and close these. So we've got all these indexes and then an actual table of all the slugs. Um, one thing that's commonly forgot with this app or a uh, gem is to create a slug field on all of your models. So that's kind of a point annoying thing, but it is necessary. So we'll have to do that next. So with that done, I'm going to migrate that first. Oh, if this happens to you, go back into that migration, add whatever version of Rails you're running in brackets here. I'm using 5.1 and just hit save and then run it again. It's an issue they're working on. So we should be able to go here. There we go. Cool. All right, next we need to generate our own migrations. So there's a slug on each of our models. So we have discussions, channels, and replies that we're going to do this on. I'm not going to really focus on users in this case. Uh, if you are creating a user-centric app, you might do that where there's actual profiles and stuff, but I'm not dealing with it. Uh, okay, so Rails generate migration. Let's see, add slug to discussions. And then we're going to pass in slug, and it's going to be a string. I'm going to do the same for pretty much every one of them. So add slug to channels, and then the same for replies. Okay, so if I do rake db migrate, it should be all set. All right, so now we should have a slug field for each of our we got a slug, slug, and slug. Cool. So with that done, we can go and fix our controllers and models to use the corresponding slugs that we need. So here's where it gets kind of tricky, but isn't too bad because you're kind of just repeating yourself, which is kind of annoying at the same time. Uh, but we're going to extend the friendly ID class. And friendly ID. And this is on reply, mind you. So make sure you're on reply if you're typing along. And I'm going to actually use the reply itself as the field. And then we'll just use slugged and finders. So this allows you to use either the slug itself or the ID of the record when you do change the actual record itself, you want to actually update the path to of the slug. So this is kind of responsible for that. And you can name it based off of what you're naming the ID. So it would be reply changed and then you just do a question mark. Not exactly sure how that works, but it does seem to work. So Let's update the discussion one next. And I'll just throw this at the bottom. Extend friendly ID. Friendly ID. Title. Use. 
slugged and then finders. Definition should generate new friendly ID question mark end and channel changed question mark awesome all right so now we still need to do some work on our controllers to make this work the way we want and if all goes right we would just go ahead and modify it in one area, but our controllers are kind of complicated. So of course I make it hard on us. You know what, actually, because we're using the finders plugin here, we can go ahead and just use the ID that's already there. So we shouldn't have to do controller work. So I hope I don't have to anyway. So let's try that again. I'm gonna just restart server for grins and go back. And our current records aren't gonna uphold to this. So I'm gonna delete those. And it looks like I got issues. Friendly ID slugged. Three G's, that's wrong. Channel right here. Okay, so that's okay. And I'm just basically gonna wipe everything out because um, let me go to channels. I'm in my admin role so I can do all this anyway. And start over. And so we'll create a couple channels, maybe general, just to prove our theory on everything here. Uh, I don't know, web design. Web development. Let's make it look kind of real. I don't know, uh, jobs. Cool. Okay, so we have plenty of channels and they're listed here because I'm an admin, I can create those. And then a new discussion I'll create just um, how to land a job as a designer. Something like that. I have no clue. Paste in some lore mips from here. Maybe do a little markdown just to make it worthy and we could select channel the jobs and looks like something's up because there's a D there Andy come on go to title channel discussion fix that uh, I guess I'll do it again there we go there's gonna be two of these no there isn't cool so there we go. And notice our URL now. Isn't that handy? So that gives you quite a, a few good factors in the sense of SEO. That's going to help a lot. And then it's just easier to share with someone. They can find it by typing it in, even if they had to. All in all, easier. So I'm going to put um, my response is not a good one. And we'll bold this. Cool. And then I'm going to log in my other, other user. So I can't edit this, as you can tell. Uh, but I can create a new discussion. I can't mess with the channels either. I did notice I didn't quite get my channel show page intact. But we can... I'm going to probably just copy and paste that over just so it's easier. It's really not much that we aren't already doing. So I'll go over to the show page from our old project. Go 
go. So we just have the channel name and we're if the user is an admin, we can add the edit button to the channel. Uh, there were also rendering partials that are coming from our shared folder and then our discussions sidebar. So just the same stuff we've already authored. You just create it once and use it elsewhere. So then here's what a latest discussion looks like. If we have a discussion within web design or jobs, since I just posted that one, it should display here. Uh, let me double check that it should. Oh, I had a typo here, guys. So it's the channel dot ID. I'm in my channels controller and I was wondering why nothing was displaying when, even though we had this discussion posted in our jobs uh, channel. So I also noticed that the discussion show page could benefit from using the channel it's posted in. So I might add that real quick. So I have channel ID I've made a fix to and hopefully if we refresh and go to jobs, we'll see that, and we do. So perfect. It's exactly what a you know categorization should do. So everything that's posted in jobs should render here now. So let me go back to the show page real quick on our view discussion show. Find a good spot for the channel name. So we have the author, the username. channel and then actually needs to be channel it's confusing I know but there we go web crunch and jobs maybe I'll make that text light or darker I mean in fact I could link to it actually I'll do that so I'll do link to at discussion channel channel, and then we could just put at discussion channel. Cool. So it looks kind of weird, but it works. And it links straight to that. So obviously you could extend this way more. You could have sub comments, some th sub threads uh, that gets kind of hairy. Uh, but it is possible. So any any response to a response is, is an idea you could do here. The same is true for channels. Channels could have like, I don't know, extra functionality that isn't already prevalent. So here I have just the title and then the categorization of them. Maybe within that you could extend each discussion to have voting. So maybe if it's a good one, you can vote up or down. Same is true for comments. Um, maybe just to verify our code works, we could do to write code markdown, you do back ticks, three of them, and then you could pass in the name of the code language right behind. Uh, I'll just copy some of our code in maybe a model, something like this, pass that through, update it. Oh, I misspelled that. So I'm glad I checked that. So should be good there. There we go. Awesome. So just to double check if I log in as my other user, I could see this post. I could see everything on it. I cannot edit anything. If I were to comment on it, I could edit my comment though. So yeah. Sweet, and there's my profile. Edit that, update, there we go. Cool guys, so that kind of rounds out the forum of this Let's Build. I invite you to extend this much further. I've used voting in other tutorials, um, maybe add that to this. You can even go as far as uh, enhancing the way a comment is deleted using J JavaScript. Same is true for adding new discussions. Maybe it happens in a modal or something, or you can add tags, for instance, instead of just channels. Um, that'd be kind of cool. You can even integrate search with a few gems that are out there. I think there's one called Ransack. That's pretty popular. 
Uh, I've used it before. But yeah, that kind of ends things here. I thank you for watching. Um, if you like this, appreciate a subscribe or a like. I also have a link in the description to just buy me a coffee or something to keep me awake. Currently it's a little past midnight here and I'm still recording this, but uh, it's definitely fun and I'm learning a lot. So hopefully you are too. Not sure how much time I'll have to continue these up from week to week, but I'm gonna try my best. But um, if you have any recommendations or anything, I'm happy to you know at least hear them out. There's obviously use cases out there that are just would take way too long to uh, build out, but I can maybe establish a foundation for you. So anyway, thanks again for watching, and um, I'll see you in the next one.